Welcome to the channel. Today's episode, we've got a 1992 Porsche 911 in the shop. This one's a Carrera 4, and the 4 indicates that this thing is all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, which I think is pretty cool. And in this car, we've got a little bit of rust in the front tub area, basically where the battery sits. It's a pretty common place for them to get rust. We're going to be replacing the floor panel there. We're going to be painting a few small parts for this thing, like the headlight bezels and stuff like that. So stay tuned, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So this car is a really nice car. I would give the paint a 9 out of 10. There's a few small imperfections like you see here on the mirror. That's one of the things they want me to paint. Take care of that on the mirrors. They want me to paint the rear spoiler to color match the car. You can see the interior of this thing is really nice. I'll show you one other thing that I've got to paint. This is the headlight bezels. Now they've got new ones that I've got to paint color match to the car. And underneath here there's the rust we've got to get taken care of. Now you can see, you can see light through the bottom there. The battery actually sits right in this little spot here. And the battery acid kind of drips out onto the paint and eats the paint and gets the metal all corroded out and it makes it rust out really bad. So typically if they're going to rust, it's going to be somewhere near a battery on these cars. But we've got a new panel to put in here. Should take care of that. No problem. Actually, right there. This is the new panel we're going to be replacing the rusted panel with. Here's the rear spoiler. And here's the new headlight bezels. We've got this thing already taken the bumper off of it. We've got it up on the lift. We're going to get this thing raised up and start getting to work, cutting out some of this bad metal. So now that we've got it up in the air, get a better look at the rust. We're going to be replacing this whole little floor area here and maybe even some of this metal up into here. Depends on how far the rust goes. We've got to see how far we got to go till we get to some good clean metal. Now we're going to be taking some of this stuff out of the way just to give us room to work here. I don't think I want to take out totally. This uh, This is the oil cooler and this is the AC condenser. I don't want to take them totally off because I don't want to break the units open as far as I don't want to disconnect these lines. I just want to more or less just take it loose and move it out of the way so we can Give us some room to work in here. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we got these shrouds taken off the bottom for these coolers to give us access to this side here because this pinch weld is where all the uh, welds are going to be for this bottom floor piece. And you can see here, we took it off here. Now the uh, coolers are kind of hanging by the lines pretty much, so I put a uh, bungee cord to help hold them up to take the weight off the lines. The same thing with this one. Put a bungee cord on it to help hold it up out of the way. And you can see on this side, the rust kind of goes up into this panel here. We'll probably have to cut a section out of this and replace it with some good metal in order to get this floor welded in. We'll know a little bit better when I get this undercoating off. But we also had to take this lower control arm loose, especially from this spot right here. It gives us access to this little opening here because we need to get into that opening to put this floor in. So let's use our wire wheel and get some of this undercoating off. Then we can start cutting out some of this rusty metal.
So the rust is a little bit worse than we initially thought. We're going to have to cut out the two side panels that the floor welds to. And that's one of the bad things about rust is typically you don't know how deep you're going to get until you start the job. And um, it's always worse than you initially think. So we'll get those cut out so we can put in the new pieces. All right, so we've got the bad metal cut out of this car, and that takes care of about 99% of the rust. Now that 1% of the rust is gonna be down in the pits and in the areas that a grinder or a wire wheel won't get to, and we're gonna be using this stuff called rust mort to take care of that. Now you apply this with a brush, you can use an acid brush, that's what we're gonna use, and you brush it on the rust and let it sit for 24 hours, and you'll take a damp cloth and wipe off the area, and this kills the rust and prevents it from coming back. So let's get to that now. All right, so we've got those pieces cut out, cut out this side, cut out this side. We've got the floor cut out. Now, the reason why we cut this side out is because this has been replaced before, I'm pretty sure, and where they MIG welded it in, in between the seams, had rust, and there was the only way we could get rid of that rust is to cut that metal out and treat this side, and if you're going to cut it out, you might as well replace it with a new piece. So we've got that new piece, we've got this new piece. And the reason why we're replacing this piece is we cut out here, we were going to put sections in because it, the rust went up into the piece here. But once we got a little bit further in, we noticed that in between the, the pinch weld here, where it had MIG welds, same thing. It had a, a lot of rust in there. And we've cut it off to replace it. And we've treated this rust. And there was a little bit of rust, surface rust on this piece back here that we treated. So we've got all of that treated. We're going to let it sit overnight. We'll come back in the morning and get this stuff wiped off, and then we can start welding in the new pieces. In the meantime, we can go ahead and start prepping these new panels to weld on. All right, so we've got this floor set in here. We've got the battery tray, we've got the brackets set where we want them. We've got all this gray primer you see here. That's, that is weld through primer and we put that in areas that we will not be able to prime after the things welded together. It protects all the, uh, the bare metal that's underneath and all the seams. We've got all that set in there. Everything's held together with screws and vice grips. So it fits really well. I like the way it looks right now. So the next thing we're going to do is just uh, start welding this thing together.
All right, so my dad's got this thing welded up. My brother's gonna take a grinder and clean up all the welds, and I'm gonna take some seam sealer, seam seal all the seams and try to make this thing look factory. All right, so we've got this thing seam sealed. We're gonna let this seam sealer dry for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're gonna spray some undercoating on the bottom to try to match this texture here. And once this texture is matched, we're gonna be spraying the bottom black to try to match the rest of the car, and then I can bolt up the suspension and get this thing back on its wheels and on the ground. 15 minutes later. All right, so we've let the seam sealer dry. Now we're gonna be spraying on all the bare metal areas, this self-etching primer. And then once it flashes off, we'll follow that up with this heavy textured chip guard. And since this is an opaque, it's not really black, we're gonna be spraying some of this undercoating over it just to make it black. Once we get all three of these coats on, we'll let those dry really well, and then we'll start putting the suspension back on. All right, so we've got this all blacked out and undercoated on the bottom. And I was gonna put the suspension back on and put the wheels back on so I could put it back on the ground, but these coolers are hanging back a little bit and I can't put the wheels on with the coolers hanging where they are. I'll have to bolt those up, but I can't bolt those up until I paint this blue. So I guess the next step what I need to do is go ahead and paint this outside area blue so that I can mount these coolers back up and then I can get the suspension bolted on, put the wheels back on, and then get it back down on the ground. So let's get this lower section painted blue. The next day. All right, so we've got the bottom side painted blue and it's dry to the touch. So let's get this thing untaped, start putting everything back on that we took off so we can put this thing back on the ground. All right, so we've got this Porsche back on its wheels. Let's go ahead and get the mirrors repaired, get it in the booth, get this thing bagged, and then we'll put some primer on the mirrors. All right, so we've got the mirrors on the Porsche primed. We'll let them dry overnight. We'll come back in the morning 
get this thing untaped and get it ready to paint. Let's get it all taped up so we can get this thing sprayed. Got the Porsche bagged in the booth and the inside of the tub area is textured. So we're gonna go ahead and spray on some textured coating. All right, so the Porsche's in the booth and everything's ready to go. Now I made a spray out card when I was painting the outside of the front lower tub, and we're gonna go check this color now to make sure it matches to see if we need to do any tinting. All right, so this color matches really good. Let's go ahead and get our paint suit on, get ready to start painting this thing. All right, we're all suited up. Let's go put one coat of white sealer on this Porsche. All right, so we've got our sealer sprayed on there. We gave it a 15 minute flash time. So now we can start putting on some base coat. We've got our waterborne base coat in the gun. Let's go make this thing blue. All right, so we've got our waterborne base coat sprayed on there and we've got it all flashed off using our handheld blower. We've got our clear in the gun. We've got to put two coats of clear on this thing. Let's go make it shiny. All right, so I got my last coat of clear sprayed on there. Let's go look this thing over and make sure I don't need to put another coat on before I clean out my clear gun. All right, so I think it turned out pretty good. Let's get our clear gun cleaned out. We'll let this thing dry overnight, come back in the morning, get it all untaped, and we get this thing delivered back to the customer. 24 hours later.
Vegetarian is an old Indian word that means bad hunter. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel and this is the kind of content you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you won't miss any future content. If you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya! Porsche's in the booth. Everything is tech. <laughs> Story to start. Pew, ta, ta. Let's go put some one to ta. Sealer on these Porsche. <laughs> Using our handheld blower. Ugh. All right, so we got our last coat of clear. Let's get our clear gun. Gosh. Let's get our clean.